Here with us now, House Ways and Means Committee member, Florida Congressman Greg Stubbe. Congressman, it's great to have you on the program today. Yeah, good to see you. And I want to follow along um, with the UAW story. Really interesting soundbite there uh, off camera from his major speech, President Biden yesterday saying that the union members should push for that 40% pay increase. He really is kind of, you know, digging his heels in and going all in on support. But the problem is, uh, here seems to be, to a certain degree, that the genie is now out of the bottle, right? as the unions are pressing for more and more in this country and making our American worker to a degree less competitive, it's going to create a problem for the next president of the United States on how to control and balance all of this as we're competing with China. You know, giving auto workers a 40 percent pay increase is not going to help us get where we need to go. Your thoughts? Well, and it, yeah, and it's interesting. He didn't show up until he heard that President Trump was going to go and speak today to the auto workers. And the auto workers are in the place where they are struggling because this administration is pushing to 50% electric vehicles by 2030, I believe it is, which is going to put a lot of those workers uh, out of business. And I and I think what was interesting is when they followed up with uh, Karine Jean Pierre at the White House after the president made those comments to say, well, is he with the the, the uh, union workers? them. They didn't want to respond to that because mm -hmm. the White House really doesn't support the workers. It supports this push to this Green New Deal progressive agenda, which is going to put a lot of these uh, line workers out of business and out of jobs. Yeah, and it's interesting because as I was watching it yesterday while he was on the line with the folks who were surrounding him, I thought a lot of the images of him going to the border, the way it was really cleaned up and it looked a lot different than the other pictures that we see. You know, those people were rallying around him because it was a live shot there. But we at Fox Business have talked to a lot of folks who have said, you know what, President Biden, you've done enough. You've driven inflation up to 9.1 percent when it was at its peak. You're part of the problem here. And as you mentioned, you're the one pushing green energy, which is going to eliminate our jobs. Yeah, the economic policies that this administration has had has made it worse on the very class of people that he supposedly was supporting uh, in talking with them. It's the middle class that is getting hammered by high inflation, by all of the high interest rates, by the cost on the American people. And everyday Americans are seeing it every time they go to the gas pump, the grocery store. And all of these are a direct result of the trillions of dollars that Democrats dumped on the economy and the policies of this administration to push progressive policy, Green New Deal agenda, and it's going to affect every single one of those workers uh, that are striking at UAW. Congressman, while I have you, I have to switch gears and talk about Hunter Biden um, and the breaking news from Jim Comer yesterday that Hunter Biden received more than $250,000 from wires that originated from Beijing, China. They were addressed to Joe Biden's home in 2019. Now, the Hunter camp is claiming that, you know, that was his permanent address. He was 49, by the way, using his parents' home as his permanent address. There are multiple reports, and even in his memoir, it contradicts that he was actually living in California at the time. So if you progress the ball forward and start to really think about it, you say, um, this contradicts everything Joe Biden has said about the fact that he hasn't known. Hunter Biden may be lying once again, and Joe Biden may be lying as well um, to the degree of, you know, how involved he was here with Hunter's business dealing. A lot of people question, and rightly so, was that money going to Joe? Yeah, a lot of facts that have not changed uh, is the lie to the American people that Joe Biden said that he had no knowledge of his son's business dealings. When we know for a fact between testimony of his business partners, that's not the case. The argument from the Democrats have been, oh, oh, Joe hasn't gotten any direct payment, but the Biden family has gotten over $20 million for actions that Joe took as vice president or now as president, uh, like the things with Ukraine. Uh, Bob Alinsky testified to all these different things. The evidence is overwhelming. And I think as we move forward, and hopefully the House and Comer will subpoena Hunter Biden's financial records to see where all that money came into all these shell companies that then went to Hunter Biden, where did that go after that? A lot of good questions. I'm sure uh, Congress will follow up. Congressman, great to see you. Thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, anytime. Uh, looting spree 